Well, I hope you and your family had a great time around Thanksgiving. You know, we've had so many marvelous events at our church recently. The stewardship celebration just could not have been any better. I hope you were able to join us for that. And then the ladies had the taste of Christmas for a couple of nights this year. And um, the gospel is so clearly proclaimed. And um, I'm just so glad for um, the many men and women who serve the Lord with such excellence. We're really looking forward now to this Sunday. We're gonna do something we've never done before. This was actually our chairman of deacons, Joe Blake's idea to, to try having a church family night in the morning. And it was just the logical time to have it because of the way Thanksgiving fell so late. We did not have a natural time to have a church family night prior to the Living Nativity in December. And so we thought, hey, let's try Joe's idea. And honestly, the, the more we prepare for it, the, the more excited we become. And so I hope you're planning to join us because when you think about it, it's just the, the perfect convergence of several different themes at this time of year. We just finished Stewardship Month, as I said. We're getting ready to launch all of our Christmas outreach ministries. And we have the opportunity to think about through celebrating the Lord's table, uh, the body of Christ which was broken for us. Well, when you draw all of that together, it helps us think about the body of Christ. It helps us to think about how Jesus Christ was willing to take on a body at Christmas time because we're celebrating the Lord's table. We're going to be able to think about uh, Christ's body and blood that was shed for our salvation. Because as we always do on Church Family Night, we're gonna have persons who are baptized and people who are joining our church. That helps us to think about the church as his body. And so we're gonna look at a number of passages of scripture that speak about that theme of the body of Christ. I'm also happy to tell you that we have over 50 people who are preparing to be baptized or to join our church at our seven different services this coming Sunday. Isn't that amazing? Isn't God good to us? And when you think about it, that's the natural result of Stewardship Month, seeing such marvelous fruit that our gracious God has given us. And it also prepares us for all of our Christmas ministries because we're hoping that we'll have another group of people who have recently come to Christ and now would like to be baptized and join our church early next year because of all the opportunities that we have at Christmas time to proclaim the gospel. You know, Jesus keeps his promises. He said in Matthew 16, he would build his church. Well, he does it. He does it because he's a redeeming God. And I hope you'll be with us this Sunday as we celebrate him and we think about the marvelous joy of his body.